Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Martin. I'm an orthopedic foot and ankle surgeon from Columbus, Ohio. And today we're going to be talking about great toe nanoarthroscopy with MIS dorsal chylectomy. So this patient comes in and literally gets down and does two burpees in front of me and then holds a plank position as she's talking to me. I ask her, have you had any trauma? She says no, but she said it hurts when I do this. And she proceeds to do a couple more burpees. I asked her if she's failed NSAIDs, she's failed carbon fiber, she's failed taping, she's failed activity modification. But activity modification, we're going to take that very lightly because we see the activity she participates in. So once I get her back on the exam table, I actually do an exam. She's a little bit tender over the metatarsal phalangeal joint, a little bit of pain with extension, negative grind, and stable to varus and valgus. We get these x-rays and we see our reason. So she does have this large dorsal osteophyte. She has joint space narrowing and also some changes to the sesamoid. So we know this toe has done a few too many burpees. But what do you offer this patient? You can offer her a fusion. You could offer her a dorsal chylectomy. But this patient wants to get back in the gym tomorrow, so why not an MIS dorsal chylectomy? So what does that look like? We use a IO band around the toe, draped over the tremano to give us distraction. Then we establish our dorsal medial and dorsal lateral portals just using the nick and spread. And what's really nice about using nano, it has a nice blunt tip, as you'll see here, which allows you to go into the joint very safely. As you know, the metatarsal phalangeal joint is a pretty small spot. This is the setup. I use the Tremano to hold good distraction. It allows me to use both of my hands freely and not have to worry about holding or manipulating the toe. And again, you can see a couple different positions. It allows me to be able to look and be comfortable as I'm standing or sitting. And then as I get in there and start shaving, this patient, as you know, there's not much cartilage left remaining, but there's a lot of thickened tissue that had to be removed. And what this is allowing me to do, it's really allowing me to examine the joint and allow me to taper my dorsal chylectomy. And as you can see here, she has lost a large central part of the dorsal head. And this is why her pain generator is here. So going forward, now I make a small accessory dorsal portal, use the elevator that comes with the MIS kit, and elevate the tissue from that dorsal osteophyte. Then we have our Shannon Burr, and it's a high torque, low speed, doesn't cut your glove, it's very safe, and that's what we use to put inside the joint. Then you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, I use an overhand grip. This gives you good control, and at this point, I've reduced and released my traction to allow me to manipulate the toe so that I can use different positioning. Now this is the actual MIS burr going. The advantage of using nano is not only to visualize, it's also to irrigate, cool, and make sure that all that bone debris is removed from the joint. And I can really taper my osteotomy here. As you can see, I'm looking and slowly working down. The burr is not grabbing the tissue, it's barely touching it. And then we can really move nano and its small maneuverability to allow us to look and take down the joint. Afterwards, this is what we get to look at. So we do a dynamic examination showing the toe moves freely. There's no impingement. Looking at this video, I could have took a little bit more, but that's what we do and we continuously improve by using nano and able to look at our repair. Postoperative protocol. This patient had three simple stitches placed. She was placed in a weight-bearing shoe as soon as possible. She began rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Range of motion was started as soon as possible and transition to a stiffer shoe was by seven to 10 days. She began activity range of motion and activities as tolerates at around 7 to 10 days. We had her on a daily stretching routine, and we also used a neoprene bunion sleeve, which helps with swelling and controls pain. So why nano? Nanoscope is accessible. This can be sterile, single pack use, which can open up in the OR, which really reduces the overall impact on the OR by using smaller devices versus the traditional towers and multiple different activities that have to be performed in the OR. This is all reduced by using nano. It also has reduced equipment. So I can peel pack and open a small, malleable, durable device, which allows me to access very small places that I couldn't with normal routine equipment.